Niels Holgersen had been changed into a dwarf for his misdeeds. He is now on the way to Lapland with Martin the Gander and the flock of wild geese. Akar, the leader of the flock, called out. There's a fog ahead. We'd better land. The geese glided down from the sky and onto swan territory. What beautiful birds! Which wind could have blown wild geese down onto our lake? Wondered the swan king and queen. The fog forced us to land, your majesty. We shall fly off again as soon as it lifts. All right, you may stay for a day or two. A white goose? What is that supposed to be? Surely geese aren't trying to look like swans now. Ouch! What are you doing? No other bird may look like a swan. We shall pluck you bare. Leave him alone. He hasn't hurt you. Smiri the fox made good use of the commotion that had arisen on the lake. Watch out, queen! Next time I'll put you out of the way first, dwarf. You've been spoiling every hunt for me. Does it hurt, Martin? Can you fly on? They only plucked three feathers. I don't know why I gave that evil queen a warning. Ah, there's the mannequin who had punished the boy. He seems to be well content with Niels's behavior now. Look, the fog is lifting. We'll be able to fly on. They flew over a stretch of fertile land to the bird lake Takern. There are hunters below us. Fly to the right and glide down by that farm. We should have avoided that lake. People are shooting the birds because they want to dry out the lake. But why? To acquire more arable land for fields. A little boy appeared in the gateway. He turns back to see if anyone is following him. Are you all right? I'm fine. My name is Per Ola. And what's yours, little dwarf? I'm Nils Holgersen. My mummy tells me stories about mannequins and dwarfs like you every evening. Are you going to the lake too? To the lake? But they're shooting there. I'm off to find my gander. I call him Jaro. My daddy turned him into a lure. What's a lure, Akka? You'll see soon enough. We must save that gander. I'll save him. That's no problem for me. You stay here, Martin. Your coloring would give us away. Per Ola, you lead us there. And so Per Ola took Akka and Nils to the lake. Over there, on that island, that's Jaro. Oh dear, it lures the birds in for the hunters to shoot down. The boat has a hole in it, Perola. There's no other boat. What shall we do? Nils, help the boy row. You must get to the island. Nils did his best, but the boat kept revolving. We'll call the hunters for help. Go on rowing, Perola. Jaro, can you hear me? I'm coming to fetch you. Everyone, there's a child on the lake. 
Dear God, that's Perola, my son. And the boat he's in is sinking. Stop firing! Do you hear me? Stop firing! Run, Caesar. Bring back Perola. <coughs> Hooray! What happened? You've done a bit of swimming, but everything's fine now, and your daddy's coming to pick you up. You saved my son, Caesar. I'll never forget it. I'd just like to know who warned me. I'd fulfill his every wish on my honor. It was me. I warned you. And if you want to fulfill my wish, keep this lake as it is. A home for the birds. You have plenty of fields. My son's life is worth all the fields in the world. You have my word. Thank you. Now let's free Jaro together. A car returned to the flock, Nils to Martin. Nils had shown courage and had done another good deed. Will he become human again, or will he fly on to Lapland with the wild geese? <laughs>